So hello everybody, Convert with MOS 12.0 is out and it brings lots of improvements for the Yamaha YSFC format which was used by mainly all the workstations from Yamaha of the last decades. But before we look into that, I also improved the logging output component, which was really a nightmare in the last versions. And I thought I could fix that in the last update, but it still crashed sometimes. So I did rewrite this completely. And now it's very, very fast and stable. And to do now larger conversion processes, it will be lightning fast. And let's have a look at that. I have a larger folder here with pads in contact format. And let's just convert this to SFZ and let's go and you see this is just here blowing away <laughs> and this looks really nice as well. It also can lock 100,000 lines before lines got deleted but you always get the full lock in the file which is also put in the same output folder. So let's close that down and let's clear again the output folder. We don't need that. So let's now look at this Yamaha format and before that in the previous version we had only the support for waveforms which is a basic multi-sample setup for Yamaha and now in this version I can also read and write performances for the Yamaha Montage and the Mod X and the Mod X Plus models. Not the Montage M yet, maybe in the future, and not the old motive. So if you have an input file from these models, it will still automatically create waveforms no matter what you have selected here. So, but you still get the choice if you want for any reason only read the waveforms. It could be, for example, that the file contains more waveforms than are used in the performances. So you would miss some waveforms. So only the waveforms who are referenced from performance get converted into a performance if you choose that option. So there might be files or reasons to select that option as well also for the montage and modex models. Also I added some logging when the samples are extracted from the library file so you will also see a progress now in that case and not see a hanging software. But what is more interesting is to use the output of this format to bring new samples into your montage or mode X models. So to show you that, I will pick here contact and I have some different setups here. So the first one contains two multi-samples which have only one layer, so only one velocity layer. And let's see what we can do with these. So these are located here in test one folder and you have now these options still from a previous version so you can select if you want to get user output or if you want to have library output. I th still think that's a very strange distinction because it's basically the same file but nevertheless the hardware requires that you have these files to get them in the place you want to have them. And here you can also say that you want to have waveforms in the output file, which means this is basically the same behavior as in the previous version. And if it's unchecked, which is the fault, you will now get also performances in there. And we still have the option that you can combine all multi-samples coming in to this process to combine them in one library file, which you can also have here a name. But let's tick that box off for the first showcase. So let's first convert here a montage library from this input folder with the two samples. So we should get two output libraries, which you also will see, which happened here. So we have a library with that name and a library with that name. Oh, what I forgot to show you, what you can also do now in this new output component is you can select multiple rows. And if you want to copy the text, you can right click on it and say copy selected rows to clipboard and can then insert it in any text editor. So let's have a look in the output file. We have here these two libraries and I also have here the librarian and wave editor from John Mellers, which I guess you are aware of, which is not free, 
But if you just want to use it for looking at the content, you can simply use the demo version, which is also capable of doing that. So only the save is disabled. But nevertheless, it's a cool tool if you want to create totally new waveframes or organize your performances. You can do that with that too. And yeah, nevertheless, let's have a look at these. So you will see it contains here one waveform, multi-sample setup with all that input. So this got converted it over nicely and we now also have a performance created and you will see it references here this waveform which you can also click here and jump directly to the waveform and this performance supports now also the additional setups for example you have all envelopes so you have normal amplitude envelope as well as the filter settings and the filter envelope if the source format supports these things and the pitch envelope as well and some other smaller settings as well there is still this excel sheet which is in a documents folder on github and if you want to check out the details you can read that there as well also the second file did the same so if you open that you will also see that waveform and this one performance but let's try now the other option that we want to combine this here into one library. So we can say we have here these pads name and let's do that again. And you will see with right now only one output file. And again, let's check here the output folder. So here is now this pads file, which is double the size now. And let's load that. And you see here now we have two waveform setups and in the performance we have also the to performances created, which reference the individual waveforms. So let's now make this a little bit more complicated. So here in the second test, I have again a multi-sample, but this setup has now six different groups, three for the left side and three for the right side and three velocity layers. And let's see what happens to that file if you to convert that. So this is here in a second one. And just for fun, let's let me say we want now have a Modex library, which is also basically identical to the montage, but has only two bytes more. Both versions can be loaded in both models as well. So yeah, it's more a detail if you prefer one or the other. And we can untick this box so we get the individual library output. And it's done and let's check out that one. And we have now also this XV Eternity multi-sample. Let's put that here in the editor. And you will see now something different has happened. Let's first look at the performances. We have one performance because we had one input multi-sample, but for each of the groups, we have separate waveforms. So the envelopes and filter settings can be applied to each of the groups individually. And if you look here at the reference samples, so these are the right side samples, these as well and these are the ones for the left side and they cover the three velocity ranges as well so also this gets translated pretty nicely and you get some powerful multi-samples over into your workstation and you also see that these six different waveforms are referenced here from this performance so finally, another test. This is a multi setup, so kind of performance as well from contact and it contains different instrument sounds in such a multi setup. And this could also, for example, used as a source file. And we do that here three and we want to combine all of the content of this multi configuration into one library and let's call that chaos so this is a song setup of my band Erilyn and this song contains multi splits and everything and let's see what we get out of that and see it's also done let's close it down and we can also close down convert with MOS and we see in the output folder we have now also this chaos library and let's open it up and you will see we have all these different waveforms which are used in this song and the performances are also there and you see also it's more reference multi-samples than we have performances which is also correct and you see that different ones are referenced. So this is also a left and right hand side split 
which gets also transformed nicely. And on the workstation, I could now combine these sounds again into one performance and use that again to play this song. My idea for the future is to also make this happen automatically, but that's quite some more work. So much for version 12. I hope you like it, dig it, use it in your montage and mode X and gig with that live on stage. And until next time, make some funky music.